Hello and good day to everyone. My name is Dustin Ibe Sigam, or you can call me Teacher Dustin. Okay, you can call me Teacher Dustin again. My name is Dustin Ibe Sigam. You can call me Teacher Dustin. Okay, so Teacher Dustin will be teaching the subject English for communication. So Teacher Dustin will be teaching the subject English for communication. So in this subject, we will do reading and uh, some answering. Okay, also speaking, reading, speaking, and some some. I will do some answering also. Next. So by the way, Teacher Dustin is teaching in grade five. So I am teaching in Platon five. Okay. Unit 1, how much food? So we will talk about uh, food here. As you can see, on the left side, we have lots of food. Hamburger, pizza, ice cream, and hot dogs. Okay, so we have hot dogs here. And on the left side, we have fried chicken, donuts, uh, sandwich. We have bread, cookies and popcorn uh, we have also french fries and many many more okay lesson is all about the quantities of food so quantities of food is this one is uh, by describing those food using a certain word that we have okay now this time here you need to practice the words so i want you to look at the screen and repeat what I will say. Okay, so this part here we will you will use your eyes, your ears, and your mouth also. Okay, you will practice the words. Are you ready? Are you ready? So I hope you are ready. Okay, let's start again. Please prepare your eyes, ears, and mouth. You will read after me. Okay, okay, a can of tomatoes. A can of tomatoes, cans of beans, cans of beans, a bag of potato chips, a bag of potato chips, bags of pretzels, bags of pretzels. A bottle of water, a bottle of water, bottles of soda, bottles of soda, a piece of pizza, a piece of pizza, pieces of watermelon, pieces of watermelon. Okay, so I have here, uh, I hope you uh, read. Okay, so I have here the, the list of all words that we have. Okay, so we will practice uh, from number one to number eight. Okay, are you ready? Okay, let's start from number one. Number one, a can of tomatoes. A can of tomatoes. Number two, cans of beans. Cans of beans. Number three, a bag of potato chips. A bag of potato chips. Number four, bags of pretzels. Bags of pretzels. Number five, a bottle of water. A bottle of water. Number six, bottles of soda. Bottles of soda. Number seven, piece of Pizza, piece of pizza. Eight, pieces of watermelon, pieces of good. Okay, now, next our lesson is all about, uh, uh, next lesson is all about how to use there is or there are in a sentence. How to use there is or there are in a sentence. Okay. 
So I will explain first what is there is under R. Okay. There is under R. There is under R is used to describe an object. Okay, so we have a set here so you so that you can understand. There is under R is used to describe an object. So example, one can have tomatoes. We will use the word there is. Okay. If it is only one, we will use the word there is. And next word, a can of tomatoes. Okay. There is a can of tomatoes. There is a can of tomatoes. Next. If we have one, two, three cans of tomatoes, if we have one, two, three cans of tomatoes, we will use the word there are. Okay. We will use the word there are. So the new word, the sentence will be, uh, there are three cans of tomatoes. There are three cans of tomatoes. Okay. Next. Let's try to use there is or there are in a sentence. So remember, there is is only one. And there are is composed of uh, two, three, four or more uh, more things okay or more objects if that is two that that is there are if that is three there are four there are five there are but if it's only one there is okay uh, one sandwich okay, you will say there is one sandwich or there is a sandwich okay next Let's try to use there is or there are in a sentence. There is and there are in a sentence. Okay? Are you ready? I hope you are ready. Okay. We have here a can of tomatoes. A can of tomatoes. So what are we going to use? There is or there are? There is or there are? We will use here. There is. Okay. The, ten, the sentence will be, there is a can of tomatoes. There is a can of tomatoes. So, if it is only one, there is. Next, we have can of beans. Cans of beans. So, what are we going to use? There is or there are? There is or there are? So, this one here, cans of beans, we will use. There are three cans of beans so please don't forget the number okay uh, you can use one two three or four but since this is there are you will use uh, two or three and uh, more than more than that okay if that is only one you will use there is okay next Bags of, ah, sorry, bag of potato chips. Bag of potato chips. So what are we going to use? There is or there are? There is or there are? Okay, so we'll use there is. Okay, so the sentence will be there is a bag of potato chips. There is a bag of potato chips. Okay, next. We have here a bags of pretzels. Bags of pretzels. So we have one and two bags of pretzels. So what are we going to use? There is or there are. There is or there are. We will use the word there are because there is, uh, oh, sorry, because we have two bags of pretzels so we will use there are so the sentence will be there are two bags of pretzels there are two in a sentence by question and answer okay by question and answer so we will learn how to use there is or there are in a sentence uh, in a form of question and answer okay so there is and there are we know that it is used to describe an object, but this time, there is under R is also used 
also to answer a question. Okay. For example, how many cans of beans are there? How many cans of beans are there? Oh, only one. So what are we going? What well, what are we going to say or what are we going to answer? The answer will be there is one can of beans. There is one can of beans. How about this one? We have three. Three. One, two, three. So what will be the answer? How many cans of beans are there? The answer will be there are three cans of beans. There are three cans of beans. So we have one, two, three. Okay. Again, the question is, how many cans of beans are there? Teacher Dustin show you one cans of beans. One can of beans of beans. So the answer will be there is one can of beans. There is one can of beans. Next. Teacher Dustin show you a three pictures of cans of beans. So what will be the answer? So this one is there is. The answer will be there are three cans of beans. There are three cans of beans. Okay. Now let's try to answer a questions. Okay, let's try to answer a questions. Are you ready? I hope you're ready. Please prepare your eyes, your ears, and and your mouth. Okay. As an answer, question, how many bags of potato chips are there? How many bags of potato chips are there? The answer, there is one bag of potato chips. There is one bag of potato chips. Next, number two, question, how many bags of potato chips are there? How many bags of potato chips are there? Ooh. Answer There are two bags of potato chips. There are two bags of potato chips. Okay, so don't forget here. Maybe you will ask me why, teacher Dustin, there is uh, no S here, but here there's an S. So don't put an S if if the answer is there is or at the beginning of the sentence because this one is uh, 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 is that a noun okay noun is, is nouns meaning uh, it's a noun and this one is a singular noun because it is states here one bag one bag is means a singular uh, noun so you will put only uh, there is at the beginning, but there's no S. But this one here, the bags, there is an S. Okay, so this one, uh, you have two bags. Two bags is the plural noun. Plural noun. So if that is a plural noun, there is a S. And at the, at the beginning of the sentence, you will use the R. Okay, there are. Uh, post next videos about maybe about uh, same topic about food but the lesson is different okay maybe we will learn a lot of and uh, a few something like that okay so goodbye see you next time salikap